Hi everyone, welcome to EV Exclusive. I'm your host, Nina Margitello. Today our home tour is gonna to be a little bit different. It's a little bit personal because my husband Darcy and I purchased a renovation project. So a labor of love, so to speak. Not your typical um, home tour. We're gonna to do a before. We recently got the keys and we'll do some during and then we'll show you the grand finale when we're done. Maybe six months, I'm not really sure, but um, come on in. It comes with a warning. She needs a little makeover, so let's check it out. Welcome. This is 1975. This is a post and beam rancher. She's not very big, uh, 2,000 square feet on the inside, but a pretty big um, outdoor space, 17,000 square foot lot. So as I was saying, it was built in 1975. The owner who built it himself and lived here all of his life, was a builder in the area and apparently he built 17 homes and then he saved this one for himself because it's a corner lot. So um, I'd love your guys' um, opinions on what you think we should do. One of the things that sold me on this house are the ceilings, cedar ceiling, pitched roof with a skylight and the brick. Um, another feature wall here, really large living room and it faces the backyard with sliding doors and I really just envision all this being open and a really nice indoor outdoor flow, an outdoor um, dining area to have friends over and a pizza oven and check out all of this brick. This is a wood burning fireplace so that's quite nice. Um, I like brick but this is quite a lot of it. I'm not sure if we knock some of it down. I'd love to hear your comments. Let us know what you think, but I'm thinking maybe doing it white or a white wash. So you see some of the brick, but make it a lot lighter. So carpet, um, she needs a cleaning. She needs a lot of paint. And um, we're excited to see what this place is gonna turn into. This will be the dining area. We're thinking maybe a bench here, dining table, maybe some mid-century modern uh, chairs. We've hired Amy McKay at Pure Design and Blackfish Homes to actually do the construction. So we're gonna leave it to the experts, but check out the kitchen. Oops, I'm just tripping on the <laughs> carpet here. <laughs> so, we're, the, th the thought process, have a linear kitchen along this side, another linear section on that side and take all of this out because it really kind of closes the kitchen, makes it small. We have a dedicated follower that goes by the name Human Fella who always comments about the kitchen appliances. So I have a feeling you know who you are, you know a lot about kitchen appliances. So I would love to know what you think. Do we do the wolf with the red knobs that you like so much or Sub-Zero? I'm not really sure. This is the first time I have seen a range by the name of Modern Maid. It's actually quite offensive, but it was a 70s, so we'll let it slide. So we have this quite large space right now. It's just off of the garage. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a gym here. There's just the two of us, so um, we can kind of do what we want now. So this will be a gym. And then this area here will be an office, perhaps have a Murphy bed. So a guest could um, stay here if we need like a third bedroom. And we're envisioning French doors 
and also doors to open into the kitchen area. Uh, maybe I'll show you a little later, but there's a beautiful palm tree outside. Also love palm trees. So I wanna open this all up so when you're at the office, you can have a look and, and see the palm tree. We should name the palm tree. I don't know, Virginia or something? <laughs> I don't know. Come with me. So we actually have a two car garage now. This door, just so you know, the realtor in me comes out, is a fire door. It should not have a cat hole here <laughs> um, because it is supposed to be for fire hazard purposes. But we're excited to have room to do things here and a workshop and it has come including rat droppings and old cabinets that we're gonna have to tear out. This is our other labor of love, a 1964 Ford Falcon. Um, and also our vintage Honda CB. If you wanna find out more info about um, how I've acquired these items, check out our Patreon page. Okay, now back inside. This is actually pretty cool. I think I'll keep that. Powder bathroom. Uh, pretty standard sink, toilet. Definitely needs some touches in there and come down this way. Oh, I want to mention the door. We'll probably put in a glass door to let in some light. So we have like light on this side and then light um, to the backyard. This way. So this is the guest bedroom or the second bedroom. My daughter Vanessa is in her early 20s. She comes and goes, um, but it's really quite large. Um, this here is Poncho. This is my cactus. It was the one thing that I was like, that I care about, <laughs> that I didn't want to die, but Poncho didn't do so well in the move, but I believe with a little bit of love, we can bring Poncho back to life. So he's just here trying to get some sunlight. This room's south facing, so he's here holding down the fort. We've got a lot of things going on here. Uh, nice stain on the carpet. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of like, did, what's his name? Professor Plum kill Miss Peacock in the guest bedroom. <laughs> um, we'd like to open up this wall and also have a French door. And my thought is to have uh, a secret garden. So have um, it fenced and be able to kind of, again, have that indoor, outdoor, make this side of the house feel special. The other side, the living, dining, kitchen has quite a bit of character, but I feel like the two bedrooms on this side are a little dull and boring, so we're planning to change that. Let's go and see the principal bedroom. Metal doors. Oh, maybe before we do that, we should check out this bathroom. If I'm making faces, it's because there's carpet. <laughs> <laughs> in this bathroom. Um, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> um, it is huge, so we are probably going to divide it in half, put a skylight here for some natural lighting. They were doing some testing today, some environmental testing, so we've got carpet lifted and we found this funky, too bad it's not tile, but it's linoleum. I don't want to touch it again with my hands, but interesting. Voila, we're gonna make our way into the principal bedroom. Might be a little dark because most of the lighting here was lamps, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Uh, French door goes out to the backyard. Well, I'll show you out there in a minute, but this is what I'm thinking for in here. Actually putting the bed this way and we're gonna open all of this up. So behind the bed is gonna be a uh, standalone bathtub, sink. I think I'm gonna do a European like water closet. I know that's very controversial, but um, my European background does like the water closet. So we're gonna add some life to this, make it kind of cool, that open bedroom, bathroom. Um, I know it's hard to kind of envision what I'm saying, but we will show you along the way. And windows, 
on this side because when you're lying in bed, we want to be able to see the trees which are out here. So um, definitely one of the selling features for me was the yard, the location. So let's go and have a look. This is our guest house. Just kidding, it's gonna be Darcy's bedroom. No, just kidding again. Um, greenhouse, I'm not sure what we'll do here. It'll probably be a little shed. The owners left us a lot of nice little surprises in there. Um, <laughs> but this is the backyard. So this is where I was mentioning I want to put a long dining table. I love outdoor dining, maybe some of those twinkle lights. So probably in here, which will be off of the dining, indoor dining. And then let's go up these stairs. I have some more ideas for up here. There's going to be a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of landscaping. I may take up gardening but doing some kind of platform and having a wood burning hot tub or a sauna or something up here. The property actually goes further back, but there's tons of trees and um, we'll have to figure that out. Another area to my left, let's go and check that out. Look at this thriving, luscious garden. It's so happy. <laughs> Obviously this area gets a lot of light um we'll see what happens in the spring if anything pops up but i may start to grow tomatoes and i will most definitely put a fig tree here um, the property goes past this fence but again i think like we'll fence it all in keep those animals out and have some privacy another thing that really really sold both of us is that there is a creek that runs along the side so corner lot trees in the back, creek on the side. So you know you're getting old when the thought of having a babbling creek outside your house is soothing and, and comforting. Let's, let's go see. And that's a wrap for our before tour. Thanks for joining us. I would love to hear your comments, um, your recommendations of what we should do along this journey. And it's very exciting. So thank you and have an amazing, amazing day. All right. Sounds good. So, do you want me to start? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> tell me when to start. <laughs> If I can open this door. Childproof. Oh my God, cobwebs. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> nope, okay. We'll have to go the other way. <laughs> okay, so these are gonna be. That was locked. Oh my God, bugs. <laughs> it's open now. 